Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the perimeter of a shape. Now the perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. We will go through four different examples in order to see how to do this. Let's jump into number one where we have a right triangle. So let's find the perimeter, the distance around the outside. We do this by adding all of the side lengths. So 17 feet plus eight feet plus 15 feet. So for the perimeter, we have 17 feet plus eight feet plus 15 feet. 17 plus eight is 25 plus 15 gives us a perimeter of 40 feet. Now keep in mind, it does not matter what order we add the side lengths in. We're going to get the same perimeter however we do it. For example, if we do 15 plus 17 plus eight, we still get 40 feet for the perimeter for number one. Let's move on to number two, where we have a parallelogram. Let's find the perimeter. So we have seven yards plus 11 yards plus seven yards plus 11 yards. So the perimeter equals seven yards plus 11 yards plus seven yards plus 11 yards. Seven plus 11 is 18 plus seven is 25 plus 11 gives us a perimeter of 36 yards. Now again, it doesn't matter what order we add those side lengths in. For example, if we do seven plus seven plus 11 plus 11, we still get 36 yards. Next, let's move on to number three, where we have a pentagon, so five sides. And this is a regular pentagon, which means all of the sides are the same. They are all 33 centimeters for this example. Now you'll notice that each side has one tick mark. Those show us that each side is the same length. So that's what those mean. So for the perimeter, we need to do 33 centimeters plus 33 centimeters plus 33 centimeters plus 33 centimeters plus 33 centimeters. Or since all of the sides are the same length, we can do 33 times five. Either way, we will get the correct perimeter. 33 plus 33 is 66, plus 33 is 99, plus 33 is 132, plus 33 gives us a perimeter of 165 centimeters. And again, if we do 33 times five, that will work. That will also give us 165. Either way will work. The perimeter of this pentagon, 165 centimeters. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have a composite shape. Let's add all of the side lengths to find the perimeter. Now here, we need to be careful to include all of the sides and not skip anything or count any of the side lengths twice. So I'm going to cross off as we go along. The perimeter equals, and then let's start with 10 meters here on the left and work our way around. So 10 meters plus four meters plus six meters plus 10 meters plus six meters plus four meters plus 10 meters plus 18 meters. 10 plus four is 14, plus six is 20, plus 10 is 30, plus six is 36, plus four is 40, plus 10 is 50, plus 18 gives us a perimeter of 68 meters. So that's the distance around the outside of that shape. So there you have it. There's how to find the perimeter of a shape. Check the description for more videos on finding the perimeter. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.